Hello and welcome to this Premiership de Montréal match between FC United and White Eagles. My name is Graham Naismith on the commentary for you today and we are at Percival Molson Memorial Stadium in Montreal, Canada. Today we see White Eagles in their red kits moving from left to right on your screen and FC United in their yellow kits moving from right to left. We're a few weeks into the Premiership de Montréal season now and both of these teams settling into their campaigns. It was a long layoff for these players as COVID-19 restrictions in this part of the world prevented a lot of outdoor sports, especially over the winter. As that ball is put to the far side and there's a nice view of Percival Molson Memorial Stadium over 20,000 seated, normally the home of the Montreal Alouettes professional football team, that being Canadian football, not soccer. And here we see FC United trying to build from the back, but these teams kicking off the rust that was present early in the year. And that is our head official, Louis-Philippe Francou making sure that the throw-in is taken correctly. Louis-Philippe Francou des Rochers, one of the experienced officials in the Premiership of Montreal, as well as in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. And that ball caught a hand, so it will be a free kick for FC United. FC United were actually in the Premiership Division last season. They were known as Stadium 5. I can recall commentating on a few of their matches. They could hold their own on occasion, pull off a couple of surprises in a very competitive, very skilled Premiership Division. A division that has a lot of parity. I don't believe they made the playoffs, however. Just uh, a few goals short. Just couldn't seem to get the, the timely timely goal when they needed it if they were close. However, they do have the capability to, as we said, put pressure on the best of them. And they're actually a, a slightly older team as here comes White Eagles moving forward. And that one deflects towards the corner out of play. It's going to be, it looks like our first corner kick of the match and it belongs to White Eagles. You can hear the wind picking up a bit as that ball's put in. It skips into the side of the goal. White Eagles, as we said, an older team. They have an average age of about 28 years old, with some of the players as old as 41. And their goalkeeper is Ricardo Botero, who has been around for a number of years in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League and now in the Premiership de Montréal. Slide tackle put in and put in dangerously according to the official. Meanwhile, White Eagles, they're a team that's been around an awfully long time. They've got a lot of chemistry, a bunch of guys who know one another. They're also a bit older. The average age of the teams in the Premiership de Montréal is relatively young. You need that energy playing the full 90 minutes, which is very rare at the recreational level that you'll get 90 minute matches on 11 v 11 fields but we've got them here and this White Eagles team they're actually a social club comprised of expedites from or excuse me expats from Poland so they were or they are without question watching the Euro Championships very closely as Poland in tough in their group but competing nonetheless. And they have a they have a long winning history. They they know one another, they know how to play attractive soccer. But this certainly a step up for them playing in the Premiership. So we'll see how how they do against some of the 
the tough teams in this league. And this is a good test for them against FC United, I think. It's a good kind of litmus test, a good measuring stick. As FC United, a lot of the players, as we said last year, played on a team called Stadium 5, and they were a solid outfit in the Premiership. Five minutes into this match, nothing much doing, but that could change right here, but the flag is up on the far side, signaling for offside. I've said this before, I've said this in every match I've commentated really in the Premiership Division, the Premiership de Montréal. The, the key to a lot of these games, the team that will win is the team that has the most stamina and endurance, and that's why it favors younger players a lot of the time, this league. However, there's a giveaway looking for the through ball, goalkeeper off his line, but Taro just kicks it sky high in the air, happy to clear it away, but White Eagle still have possession, as that is a physical collision in the middle of the park. White Eagle still have it, dribbling forward. Playing it out to the far side on the left flank. Putting a couple of moves on the defender, now trying to put it in there. And it's into the safe hands of Botero. But it usually comes down to who can play the full 90, who has that endurance and that stamina. And there's a mistake, and here comes FC United onside, right in. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, saved by the goalkeeper. Far from a clinical finish, it was right at him. And as long as he didn't leave his legs open, he was going to save it. Goalkeeper, Stefan Robel. Making the pivotal stop. Tackle put in there, and it's a clean one. And here come White Eagles. They have some help square, and they're going to use it, trying to cut it back. And it was just a pass too many, and the defenders did enough to disrupt that move. However, they have conceded a corner from the looks of things. The first set piece of the match here, eight minutes in. We'll see what they can do with it. Looking at the rosters of the two teams, they have a couple of veterans of the Canadian Corporate Soccer League and the Premiership Division. We'll mention them in a moment after this corner kick, which is being swung in. In swinger. Goalkeeper just missed it. It's high in the air, out of play. And I can't quite tell what the official signaling. I think they're going to try it again now from the other side. So another corner kick to defend for FC United, who had that really good opportunity a few moments ago. It was a mistake at the back off of a long ball forward. And the striker was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but Robel was able to get the best of him. Another corner, this one a right footer to take it, in-swinging ball in there, knocked away. Only up to about the 30-yard marker or so. Trying to dribble it back in there. Back outside, another opportunity for a cross maybe, onto his right foot. Never made it through. Now trying to dribble at the defense. Putting it across defender there. FC United doing a really nice job of defending in numbers. As they fought off two set pieces. But that's a really well-timed slide to keep possession with the team in red. He's got support, but he's going to take it himself. Not many options forward. I'm going to try to force it in there, but it's right into the safe hands of Botero. So I look at the White Eagles roster. They have an experienced player that I recognize, Rodrigo Diaz, number eight. Not sure if he's on the pitch right now, but he's been around for a couple of years. And then we look at their counterparts, FC United. Ricardo Botero, as we said, the goalkeeper, a seasoned veteran. And I also see Mark Yekpil, who has been around a while as well. That ball was with Arantes. Number nine in yellow. And there's been a couple of turnovers as FC United having a lot of difficulty breaking out of their own end. They're trying to build from the back. 
not just kicking and running, and they're having some trouble doing so. That could be also because of a nice press from White Eagles. White Eagles, of course, is or well, a White Eagle is on the crest of the Polish national team, which partly explains their name. Free kick moving in there towards the box off the head of a defender, and it would have been unstoppable for the goalkeeper if it made it on goal. He was rooted to the spot was Botero, but it was over the goal and out for another corner. Already the third corner kick of the match four White Eagles and we're just about 10 minutes into this one. It is a very, very hot day in Montreal. The sun thankfully behind some clouds right now, but when it's out it is upwards of 32 degrees and even warmer out on the field, on that field turf. High ball in there, sails out of play. Thirty-two degrees Celsius, that is, which would be right around ninety degrees Fahrenheit. There's a nice look at the facility here in Montreal at Percival Molson Memorial Stadium. And a player being sent off the field to put on shin pads, I believe. The official has spotted that about 12 minutes in. Bessé is the player who is putting them on right now. And Botero will be taking the goal kick. It's a nice one high up the field around the 50-yard line. A couple of White Eagles players go up for it. see the trees moving as well. I believe right now the wind is blowing in favor of FC United. And FC United really have been, <coughs> excuse me, really have been hemmed in their own half. They had that good opportunity, but since then, the play has been entirely to our right. And they have had a whole lot of trouble keeping possession. You can see them here not setting up like they want the short ball. They're going to go long off the goal kick. Mm, it wasn't a very good one. Headed back down. Defender just misses it. Here comes White Eagles. A real opportunity here. But it's some nice defending to throw him off. Now another opportunity. That one well wide. And out for a goal kick. FC United were in real trouble there. But the defender did well to just disrupt the player legally. And throw him off balance enough to force him to put it wide. But if things keep up, it will be a very long day for the team in yellow. And again, they, they just can't get possession off of these goal kicks. White Eagles having their way with FC United right now. Bouncing ball back. And the goalkeeper decides to clear his lines. White Eagles, you can see that chemistry, but they're in a bit of trouble here as they'll have some defending to do. FC United happy to have the ball in the attacking third for a bit. Playing it square right across the face of goal. Turning on it, that's Yekpil. Now all the way back, just content to maintain possession with Abkari. Trying to slice it forward now. And they were offside as they moved it along. About a quarter of an hour in. This looks to be White Eagles' match to lose, at least for the moment. But again, we're already seeing some players walking. We're not seeing as much energy as we did in the first five minutes. 
That will be very apparent, especially at the back line and now. But here's an opportunity breaking through in on goal. It's in. The flag stays down. It's an opening goal for FC United against the run of play. But they do open the scoring. It is Mandumbo who gets the goal. First time we've really seen him today. Slots it past the goalkeeper. And in the blink of an eye, FC United are in the lead. This will make for a very interesting match now as it looked like White Eagles were firmly in control, but now they'll have to try to battle back. White Eagles have looked vulnerable at the back on the break. They gave up an opportunity very early on that the goalkeeper was forced to make a good 1v1 save, but he couldn't stop that opportunity there as it was a very nice finish. White Eagles get it back, looking over the top. Man falls down. No call there. Get up, says the referee. And Botero has it. FC United controlling the ball on the far side. Trying to put it through. Man goes to ground to get it. And some real scrappy play there in the middle of the park. Players putting in a bit of work to try to win back possession or maintain possession. And now here comes FC United once more. Pulling it back and waiting for support to arrive up the field. Trying the through ball and that one is out of play. We already see hands on hips, movement starting to slow down. It's really going to be apparent at the back if legs start to get tired, mistakes will be made, and there'll be a lot of opportunities for strikers. FC United, they can spray it out to this near side. There was someone open, but... No one home. This one's going to be a photo finish here, and FC United just get in there ahead to put it back to Botero. Overlap being made, but they're going to try to move it through the middle of the field. High line being played by White Eagles there if they could have timed the ball correctly, FC United would have been in pretty much unimpeded. I'm expecting there to be a hydration break during this first half. As we said, a very warm day and the sun is definitely out. And White Eagles maybe with one pass too many. FC United have it back and they're moving it forward, but there was no one making the run. White Eagles just trying to get some possession now. But it's given away. Here comes FC United once more. Kicking it through to himself. Here's another opportunity. It's stopped by the goalkeeper. But the defender did not enough to, did not do enough to prevent the corner. So some scrappy play there. White Eagles having some trouble bringing it out from the back. And FC United were nearly in. This is the first corner kick of the game for the team in yellow. And there it is, right to the back post, rising onto it were a couple of heads, but no one able to direct it on goal. Just about 20 minutes gone. And it's a 1-0 lead for FC United. Off of a well-worked play after a mistake. 
And it was Mandumbo who got the goal, the right midfielder or right winger. Well, a mistake from White Eagles. They haven't responded very well, if I'm honest, after conceding. They've been sitting back, struggling to maintain possession. Well, both teams are struggling to maintain possession, really. FC United now trying to string some passes together and turn on the ball, but they'll look to bring it back. And now starting forward again. Good slicing ball up the middle, trying to put it to the outside, but it's out of play, and it's going to be a White Eagles throw. There again, you can hear the wind in the microphone. Ball played to the far side. Some numbers on this near side for FC United as they dribble it forward, trying to bring it in himself. Cutting to the top of the box, it is blocked. Selfish play that time. He should have played it to the outside. As now they do play it outside. Stepping back in, trying the cross. This one knocked down. A shooting opportunity, maybe. That one off of a defender's shin and gathered by the goalkeeper. And there is the official signaling that we will pause for the hydration break. So both teams are going to pause for a quick drink and we'll be back after the break. So it sounds like a couple of changes being made here. And the official whistles us back in. And we're back to the action with about 15 minutes to go in this first half. 1-0 lead for FC United. The goal came about 14 minutes in. And now some fresh legs out there for White Eagles. Looks like there's a couple of subs available for FC United, so they'll look to utilize those at some point.
Okay, we have a change for the Team White Eagles with the number 20, Gabriel Pogoda, to the number 6, Alexander Malogros. And we have another change for the Team of White Eagles with the number 7 to the number 99. Adam Peter. And why not? One more change for the Team of White Eagles with the number 21. Christopher Nielpisi. Sorry, to the number 15. White Eagles really have struggled to have any kind of possession, but do they have something cooking here as they play the ball out wide? Playing it back through the middle. And now trying to cut through himself. A couple of nice moves, but a slide tackle put in. And there was a foul committed in the buildup, so there'll be an opportunity for a set piece for White Eagles. This one, 29 yards away. And we'll see what they can do with it. Left footer lining up to take it. This one put in there, and it skips through for a goal kick. A wasted opportunity, really. It wasn't up for the heads, and it wasn't a driven ball either. But White Eagles, they looked really good for about a 10 minute stretch where they were really pinging the ball around, had some good opportunities, weren't letting FC United break out. They had a really effective press, but then FC United got the goal and really took the wind out of their sails. And here they are running forward again, clean tackle there, he got the ball. White Eagles playing it through the middle and that's a foul and now we come together the officials should step in here as that was a reckless play and now another free kick trying to put that one into the box Skips through. Acrobatic play. And now they kick it in there, and it's a great stop by the goalkeeper. The flag remarkably stayed down, and the goalkeeper's down himself. He went sliding in there. It somehow ricocheted through. Got in there with the feet, but he's paid the price for it. his feet by his teammates now. Ricardo Botero, as we said earlier, an experienced player in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. I believe playing with 
Cafeteros for a good number of years. There's a long drive over the goal. Not a bad opportunity, not a bad thought. But that one missed by a couple of feet. Fifteen minutes until the interval now. Do White Eagles have what it takes to pry their way back into this game? Or do FC United have the next goal in them? FC United bringing it through the middle of the park now. Tackle put in, and it was done cleanly. And here comes White Eagles on the break. Really only two of them up there. And they were always going to be dribbling into the defense. Looks like they have a throw in, however. White Eagles just, based on their posture, they're really looking to put it forward not a possession-based team, at least based on what they were showing right there. Neither team doing a really particularly good job of spreading the ball at all. Everything's really been through the middle of the park, almost right on the McGill logo. Keep in mind, the goal came from a break down the right side. So that's something I think the team should try to be looking at a couple of switches instead of just putting their heads down and running with the ball. This one through the middle, and it's given away. Battle for it in the middle, playing it out wide again and dinking it through. If he could have skipped by there, it would have been an opportunity, but the defender got some part of his body on it. Now, here comes White Eagles on the break with some pace. And it ends up in the hands of Botero. Nice control off the drop kick, and here comes FC United. A man making the run through the middle, but a defender sacrifices the body. And it looks like he's won himself a foul while he's at it. There's a nice view of... Again, the seats in the facade of the McGill University building to our left. Really historic grounds here. Up on top of the mountain in Montreal. And really scenic views as well. Overlap being made as they have it through the middle of the field, trying to maintain possession. Now slicing it through the middle. Holding it up at the top of the box, was being forced away. Nice work by the center back. Now the tackle put in, and it was a foul that was committed. So a free kick opportunity here for FC United. Too far out to try a shot, you'd think. About 30 yards away. We'll see how they approach this one, though. So here we go, almost exactly 30 yards out. Trying the shot into the wall, skips away and then is further cleared.
good work through the middle of the field, but the defensive midfielder gathers the ball and plays it all the way back to the goalkeeper, who then, trying to clear it, hits it off a man putting in a press, and then there's a foul committed as he bowled into the back of the defender. Free kick taken up the field. FC United gets onto it. Both teams really struggling to play their games right now. Not a lot of time out there on the field. And a lot of it comes down to first touch. Who can get it under control and then do something with it? Because as we said, time on the ball is at a premium. There's a giveaway. What can White Eagles do with this? Flying forward and now putting it over the top. They're going to get on it here. They're going to try to put it across the face of goal, but it was never really going to threaten the goalkeeper and there was no forward rushing in. Although, was there something that happened in the lead up to it? The referee is going to have a word with the assistant. And he's going to issue a card. And so we'll restart things. Left footed ball up the field, knocked away. Mm, that's a really smart turn. Look at that, some nice passing moves. Gives off the ball and keeps going, and he was almost through. But there was a well-positioned defender there to get in the way. That's something we have not seen a whole lot of in this game. It seems like whenever someone gives the ball away, they're just content to watch their teammate go after it. Not a whole lot of pass and move and then getting open. Throw and taking quickly. Oh, it's, it was a good decision to do that. As FC United caught slightly out of position. Ball through the middle goes wayward, and FC United look back up the field. Holding up at the 50-yard line, laying it off, and then moving for a beautiful run down the middle, but the defender did really well to get in there, and then the man forward is offside, but that's more like it from FC United. He gave the ball off and then burst forward, and off that initial ball, he was, off, he was onside. If the defender hadn't intervened with his head, he would have been through on goal. Really nice work there but then uh, just an unfortunate bounce that put him offside. And they're going to try to orchestrate a change here. So it sounds like next time up they'll be making a change as here comes White Eagles forward. Looking for that through ball. Here they come. A shooting opportunity maybe but the defender separated his, uh, his opposition from the ball and did so with confidence. Good battle there in the middle and they've conceded a free kick. And now they'll get that switch in. So some fresh legs out on the field. 
as it sounds like Beze is coming off the field. Lining up for a low drive. It hit a secondary defender there. And now they're looking to move away our FC United. But White Eagles did a good job stomping out that counterattack. Five minutes from halftime. FC United holding on to this 1-0 lead. For the last few minutes, there's been very little to separate these two sides. Ball put up, always favored for the defense to get it. And there was a foul against White Eagles behind the play. Playing it quickly, trying to catch White Eagles napping, but they've turned it over. And what can they do with it here on the counterattack? White Eagles, I'll give them credit. They've had plenty of energy going forward, but they haven't quite been able to counter at enough pace. What can FC United do now is they're into the box. They tried to cut it back, everyone claiming it, but it will be a corner. I believe this is the second of the game for FC United. Busy penalty area that time, but it's cleared away. Never made it past the first defender. Is there one more goal in this first half to really change the complexion of the game before the interval? Out to this near side. No one gets that ball, and it's a midfielder who's all the way back to claim it. Good battle there, and he's won the ball cleanly. And here they come through the middle of the field, trying to put it through. It's taken away by a defender, and then, yeah, that's a foul. Just not a whole lot of fluidity going forward from either team, really. Very disjointed, if I'm honest, on the attack. Is there's something cooking here, however. Ooh, he's offside, and he was just offside by a whisker. It was certainly going to be close from our vantage point, but the official's flag did go up, and here's a long ball up the field. Out of play. For it looks like a goal kick. Just about one minute until time now. Goal kick for FC United. Botero to take. Toe pegs it right at the middle of the field, right into the chest of one of his teammates. That couldn't have been too comfortable. But FC United have it here, and they've got some numbers moving forward. A lot of the time, we've seen a few times where FC United have had the ball and they've tried holding it up and laying it back. Oh, that's a terrible giveaway. And it's going to be an absolute gift for FC United as they double their lead right before the half. That was another goal for the team, FC United. With number 15. And Musa gets the goal. An absolute gift after a real gaff from the goalkeeper. And they double their lead. We were just saying, is there another twist in this first half and there it is one of the easier goals Ben Musa will be scoring and we've hit the 45 
White Eagles bringing it forward. And it hits a hand. And the official's seen enough. So right on the stroke of half time, FC United double their league and it lead rather, and it's really going to be difficult for White Eagles to claw back into this match. We'll see what they have in store for us in the second half in the Premiership de Montréal. And we're back underway for the second 45 at Percival Molson Memorial Stadium. A 2-0 lead for FC United over White Eagles. Graham Naismith with you on the commentary. It was a goal about 16 minutes into the match that gave FC United a 1-0 lead. It was really well worked. A lightning quick strike as they moved the ball around and found the back of the net and then... The complexion of the game really changed in the last minute as it was, well, quite frankly, a, a bad error by the White Eagles goalkeeper and backline giving up the ball and it extended the FC United lead to two and that really changes the outlook for this match as here's a free kick being swung in a high one goalkeeper off his line. It was there to be one and I believe it was the goalkeeper, Ricardo Botero, who got his hand to the ball, or his fist we should say, and parried it away. But despite what the score line reads, it was a very even first half. Couldn't pick a winner in the possession battle, really. And both goalkeepers forced into a couple of stops. It just so happens FC United were the ones who took advantage of their chances and they're looking to develop something here, but it's a well-stomped out counter-attack from White Eagles. Now this one rolls out and it's going to be an FC United throw. They are in their yellow uniforms moving from left to right on your screen. White Eagles in their red uniforms moving the opposite direction. The red uniforms very close to those of the Polish national team. And here they come trying to sprint into the box and cut it across. It is in there. And I believe it's in the safe hands of Botero right now in his white kit between the sticks for FC United. And is Botero sending the long ball up, cut off by a White Eagles defender, and it's going to skip all the way out of play. We should expect some good energy in the first five minutes of this second half as the players are fresh. They were just off for the interval, and they should be coming out with uh, a, lot of, a lot of enthusiasm, but then I'm expecting the game to slow down just a bit, and it's going to come down to which team has the stamina and which team can be opportunistic, and Find the back of the net. FC United enjoying some possession here. Oh, but they've given it away. And he's going to be through here. It's going to be a partial break. But Terrell off his line. He's trying to take it around him. The defender bowls him over. The referee says absolutely nothing doing. And FC United survive a scare. He took it around Botero, who may have actually been out of his goal crease at the time. And is now a bit worse for wear. If he would have handled that ball, it would have been... A free kick in a dangerous position, but the defender did well to recover, and I think it actually was the defender who made the mistake, who ended up getting back to recover as Botero's second time today already. He's being checked on by the official. At every Premiership of Montreal match, there is a physio on site, but it looks like they'll be Staying on the touchline for now as our referee, Louis-Philippe Francou, checks out the goalkeeper and he's ready to restart affairs. We did have a cooling break in the first half and I'm expecting that we'll have another one here in the second half. And it actually does take away some significant time. Generally the cooling breaks are about three minutes long. As now the referee in conversation and he's sending an FC United player to the bench. We saw one FC United player who wasn't wearing shin pads in the first half, and the referee spotted that. He spotted something else here. It didn't even take him four minutes. Ball's thrown in. But yes, the cooling breaks for a, for a team trying to mount a comeback, as much as it's good to... Well, it's really essential, of course, but as much as it's nice to get some recovery in you, 
as the goalkeeper clears it away. Uh, it does kind of, it can kind of change the momentum of the game a bit. Ball given away here. FC United forcing the turnover. Trying to move it to the top of the box, but White Eagles have plenty of numbers behind the ball and they'll defend that one with relative ease. Nice ball at the outside of the foot. Spraying it to the far side as they'll come at the White Eagles defense again. It looks like they've given it away as the sun is shining down here on the pitch at Percival Molson Stadium. Sun getting progressively lower in the sky. And it will actually be behind those stands in about maybe 10, 15 minutes as it will cool off and it will make things a bit more manageable. So here's a ball into the box and it's headed just wide. An opportunity nonetheless that came really out of nothing on that far side. But they did have the opportunity for the cross and they took it and there was a man who got his head to it but he sent it wide of the goal. <clears throat> Fortunately, with the way Percival Molson Stadium is positioned, the sun never really affects a goalkeeper that much. It's not shining directly in their eyes. But here comes White Eagles on the rush right now. There's a few men loose in the box. Couldn't quite cut it across as SC United with some physical defending. Oh, that's a very dangerous pass, though. A real opportunity here for White Eagles. There's the shot. It's parried away by Botero. He parried it up onto the field goal uprights, and it's a really nice stop from the goalkeeper. A glorious opportunity after a really a poor, poor ball from the FC United defense. Wasn't a bad strike, but the goalkeeper was equal to it, and he parried it up, and it hit that. Well, you see it there, the field goal uprights. They're used for football, and whenever it hits that, that means it's out of play, so... A corner kick is awarded here. The first one of the second half. High one in there. Header back down towards the back post. It's loose and right into the breadbasket of Botero. He's going to try to transition it quickly. Not the worst idea, but White Eagles get it right back. And they're going to be coming right back at the defense. A nice passing sequence there as they're enjoying some possession. But there's plenty of pressure on them. And look out. Here comes FC United. It's going to be a partial break at goal. He's got the pace to get around the defender. One-on-one. -on -one bodies fly. Ball skips loose. And the referee is going to blow this one up. Is it a penalty or is it right on the edge of the box? Looks like he's pointing to the spot. And that was a yellow card for a team. A yellow card issued as well. And it is going to be a spot kick for FC United. A big moment in this match as FC United can essentially put it away here. It was the quick ball up from Botero that really started things. And then just some good press from FC United as they were able to break through. And it's the man who broke through who will be attempting the penalty. So here we go in the 54th minute. Big moment in the match here. Goalkeeper Robel bouncing around on his line, trying to throw off the penalty taker. It's a no-nonsense penalty right into the back of the net. And with three now, you'd think that this match is more or less over, and we haven't even played 10 minutes in the second half. Yep, right into the roof of the net. No goalkeeper's really going to get to that. A clinical finish. And now White Eagles have to pick their heads up. These matches, as we mentioned earlier, these early season games, they're really just measuring sticks for the teams, figuring out where they rank, how they can compete in the Premiership of Montreal. What they have to work on, what they do well.
we're back underway here. A three-goal lead now. White Eagles just have to take it one at a time if they want to get back into it. And for FC United, I'd say don't change a thing. You may as well keep going. This ball along. Onside is the call. Trying to put it right back in. What a response this would be. Open for a shot here. It's a long drive, but it's a great block from the midfielder sliding in there. White Eagles get it back, though. One thing FC United can't do is they can't rest on their laurels. They can't let their... Let their quality drop. White Eagles cutting inside that ball through. And now it's played across and I thought it was going to be offside. And that's exactly what it was. Ball went in the net anyways, but the assistant referee on the other side of the pitch correctly noting that it was a player in offside position who put the ball across. Oh, some good press being put on here, and they've stolen the ball. Good energy here, and they've won themselves a corner. One player putting the team on his back there. An individual effort showing no ill effects from the heat and the fatigue that they're undoubtedly facing at this point in the match. And actually, I thought the official was signaling for a corner, but it looks like it's going to be a goal kick. So unfortunate for the team in red. Defender hopping in there, just putting it out for a throw in. Mm, a nutmeg there, and they're still going, trying to cut it in. Briefly, that looked like it may catch a hand, but the defender did well to pull his arm out of the way. And now a foul call as that man pirouetted through. One thing White Eagles can do, is, as much as it's hard, it's a difficult ask, is they can keep up the press. They can try to force some mistakes from FC United. They had an opportunity, and now with the three-goal lead, how big is that stop from Botero off the point-blank opportunity? Maybe five minutes into this second half. Pushing it onto the crossbar and out. And had that one gone in, it would have been 2-1. But instead, just a few moments later, FC United get the break and win the penalty and convert said penalty. And it's a three-goal lead and the game is looking like it's probably going to be out of reach. And this one knocked away by FC United. FC United walking the tightrope on the far side to keep it in. And a foul is committed in the midfield. FC United now looking to spread the play, doing so well as they switch the ball. Still some good energy being shown by White Eagles. That's good to see because one of the concerns for that side is they're an older team. and keeping up with the younger players in this league. I'm surprised they let that throw and go. Looking to build now. Our White Eagles, they'll just kick the ball sky high. Player rises to receive it, and they've actually won the header, and they've maintained possession here. But then it was won back by the team in yellow. That one just a bit too far ahead and out of play. Oof. A physical play there. And it's going to be a free kick. Taking quickly, trying to catch the keeper off his line. Oh my goodness, he almost did. Botero made the stop. I think that one was going to go in. It's going to be a corner kick. And at first, you, your initial reaction there is to be critical of the man for trying it. But you know what? It wasn't too far away, forcing the goalkeeper into a diving save. Uh, an audacious effort, but it nearly paid off. That would have been 
a nominee for goal of the season without question and they do have a corner kick out of it lots of men committed forward in the box that's a very crowded penalty area indeed ball there is short oh it's an audacious effort and it's into the goal an acrobatic scissor kick and they had to wait for it a bit White Eagles to get their goal in this match they saw their opponent score three and they had to wait 60 minutes but it was worth the wait he committed himself and Batero never saw it really he only saw it at the last moment it's really amazing that the ball found its way through that maze of legs and bodies but an emphatic goal and maybe just a grain of doubt being put in FC United Mines here. A well-deserved goal. White Eagles did not deserve to be kept with a clean sheet, but here's a chance for FC United. A slide tackle. He definitely got the ball before getting the man. No right to be calling for a penalty there, and the player wasn't either, so he'll just go get the balls. It was a well-timed slide tackle to prevent that attack, but well, in the span of maybe a minute, we saw two, uh, <laughs> two great attempts on goal. One from maybe 45 yards out that forced the goalkeeper into a sprawling save and then a nice scissors kick that found the back of the net and as we said a well-deserved goal for White Eagles we'll see if there's another goal in this match and if so which team does it go to a corner here for FC United loose ball further cleared by White Eagles who now perhaps have a another little spring in their step after they beat Botero for the first time it took them an hour but they did eventually find the cobwebs of the goal. Botero receives it now. That one looked like it may have taken a deflection, but just curving off the foot, played quickly by White Eagles. As they look to get some possession in the opponent's third once more, and they'll get to try it again with the throw in. So all of a sudden the match becomes a bit more interesting again. The way things were going, it looked like it was over, but White Eagles have given a good account of themselves. And it looks like they're going to keep going here. FC United briefly get it back, but now they give it away. Cutting inside, he's mainly a left footer, and he just pokes the ball away. And One thing White Eagles have to be cognizant now is of now is the counterattack, as they're committing a lot of players forward. That's a really well-placed slide tackle. And there's another good tackle. That man's very offside moving forward and the player on the ball is cognizant of that. He's onside now playing it through, but it's going to be easy pickings for Botero. And oh, he was offside anyways. But the official says thank you very much, let's play on. Ball down the far line. And a tumbling ball going across the face of goal. No one home in a yellow uniform. As we said, it's going to be now a question of if White Eagles can keep this energy up. They have haven't seen a drop in energy just yet. And they've got some subs at their disposal as well. Nice probing ball up the field, knocking it through the middle. I think he's offside. Yes, he is. There's always one or two teams in the Premiership who just have to s seem to have the heart both figuratively and literally they just have the endurance and they have the will to keep going even late in a match down by a couple of goals and they're going to at some point maybe not today but at some point that's going to pay off in the form of points in the league table that player trying to dribble his way out of a phone booth and he did but he's given it away to white eagles white eagles have Look, the more dangerous of the two teams since the goal. And that one's out for a goal kick. Still 25 minutes remaining in this match. And don't go anywhere because the team that is down seems to be the team right now that would be favored to get the next goal if there is a goal to be had in this match and at that point it would be game on. Yeah. 
So this is where, if you're White Eagles, that three minute hydration break isn't doing you any favors because the clock doesn't stop and there's no added time. As now a man goes down after blocking that pass. FC United are going to continue. It's picked off here by White Eagles and they want to get forward into the attack now. Have some numbers here down the near side. He's going to put it across. Well controlled there. The flag stays down, but it's a weak attempt towards goal. And now... Now they're checking on the players who's down. And they're going to kick it out. And some banter on the sidelines here as the player on the far side is receiving some attention. of a couple of changes there for White Eagles as they'll give the ball back after their player received some attention and they got some fresh legs out there. We'll see how they can perhaps influence the game as I don't think those players that just came on have been on the pitch just yet so they're going to be completely fresh for the last 20 or so minutes of this match but there's a mistake from a defender jumping the ball but they'll play it calmly back to the goalkeeper and they've maneuvered their way out of trouble FC United here with a bit of possession. That's a well-placed through ball and it's going to be an opportunity here on goal but it goes over the goal and out for a goal kick. A very well-placed through ball for the attacker to run onto. In that situation you'd expect them to be finding the back of the net really. As I think that one has to be chalked up as a miss rather than a half chance that went wayward. So White Eagles, it's not insurmountable, still at least 20 minutes in this match. Good tackle in the middle of the field as White Eagles regain possession. No real help being provided for him though. It works out as he puts it through Botero off his line, clears it, not entirely convincing as it will be kept in play. Driving at the defense now. A chance for a 1v1. A step over. He's taken out. Oh, I'm very surprised that... And he's whistling a foul now. That looked like a clear hack at the ankle after a couple of step overs. And it is going to be a free kick, which I think is the correct call here. 20 yards out. Pretty much on the edge of the box. A good opportunity to whip it in. Remember, they got there. Only goal of the match to this point on a set piece. It was a corner kick. So we'll see if they can do it again. Count them up. I see six red jerseys in the box right now. Plus another man at the top of the box. Well, another two men actually waiting for any potential rebounds. That one put in there. It's a header off of a White Eagles player and out of bounds for a goal kick. Some good energy there 
And that's a situation where probably should have taken it on his left foot, but it may work out here for White Eagles. Here's an opportunity poking it across. It's a real shooting chance here. He doesn't take the shot. He goes down. The player definitely got the ball before he got the man, and that is an opportunity missed. They had the defense really spread now, and now here comes FC United with a berth of pace. Goalkeeper off his line. It's a loose ball at the top of the box, laying it off for the strike. It's off the base of the goalpost. And ever so close for FC United to really ending this game. Chances at either end really poor from White Eagles. They didn't even get a shot off after the defense was totally spread out. But maybe they get something else going here. It's a good ball down the line to run onto. One man loose in the box. A slide tackle's put in. Ball jumps up. There's one in there. Botero's off his line. Ooh. And he fumbled it briefly before regathering it. Oh, that's a very long goal kick with the windows back. And it's a smart header back to the goalkeeper. All of a sudden, the game opening up. And it's opening up for both teams. Both teams getting some chances on goal, some chances to run at the defense. Long ball looking up the field. Defense is going to be favored to get on that. And it's an overhead kick, putting it back towards the midfield. And the man was coming back from an offside position. So they'll get him there, and now under 20 to go. White Eagles have been generating some chances with the players they've had up top, but they haven't have gotten a goal from open play, which will be concerning for them. ball movement that time from FC United as they move it to the near side and put it up the line. A man to run it down and that's a shove in the back that will put an end, a quick end to that attack. Left footed ball over the top of Terrell right on the edge of his box. Just gets there ahead of the onrushing forward. And down by two goals, if you're White Eagles, those last couple of changes, if you've got some loaded up that you're getting ready to make, those last couple of changes should be made perhaps a few minutes earlier rather than later. As you are down by two and the clock is ticking down now, it's going to reach 15 minutes to go and that's maybe when you get into a bit of a desperation mode, two goals in 15 minutes to try to get some kind of a result out of this match. And I step over again. Ooh, a couple of nifty moves. And now a strong tackle. And he's going to go in the book for it. That's an accumulation of fouls from the looks of things. So he gets booked and then he goes right off the field and there's some reinforcements coming out for FC United. It looks like they're two attacking players, however. That ball lofted in there. Botero caught no man's land. Header on! Oh, how did that one miss? From this angle, it looked like it was going to find the goal, but it ends up bouncing wide and another opportunity off a set piece that FC United failed to claim where White Eagles had a chance.
moving back in there. A long drive. Ooh, there was some real mustard behind that shot. But it was a comfortable height for the goalkeeper to make an easy save. White Eagles starting to press here, starting to really throw the kitchen sink. Another nice move and down the line. He's on side. Couple of options in the box for him. Blazing it across. It was in there for one of his teammates, but again, he couldn't direct it on goal. It was a bit behind him. It would have been a tough ask. But White Eagles, they, they've had their opportunities. The generating chances has not been the issue in the last 25 minutes of the match. It's just been finishing them off. Fifty fifty there just won by White Eagles. Well done to get the possession back. And they're just coming at FC United in waves now as this one's again lofted forward. Back to goal, laying it off. Here's a chance at the side of the box. Right at Botero to make the stop. Another opportunity though that was not finished off convincingly. And there's another turnover, and here they come again. A player in the box, that's who they're looking for. It's going to fall for him, but the defender gets there. There's still danger, ball bouncing around in there. And FC United play it away. Another chance, they're just coming at them. Wave after wave of opportunities, and it's white knuckle time right now for FC United. That penalty that they scored really looming large here, as if it was a one-goal game, it would be... A very tense finish indeed, but with the two goals, they do have that bit of a cushion. They battle for it along the left side. Good tackle there. Really good energy in the midfield from White Eagles, and they could have something there but the defender gets it away. Now it's blocked. There's a defender up in the play if they can send it long. And here they come now. They could have a bit of an opportunity. There could be something cooking here. But the defense does well. Claiming he won the throw. It looks like he didn't, but he did well to stop that attack. Throw in taken quickly. Up there, there's another man in the box. It looks like he's offside. A swing and a miss at the bouncing ball. And they're going to get a goal kick out of it. And a man stays down after a heavy collision. We're reaching now the final 12 minutes. Some water being taken in by White Eagles. They'll have to get back on the pitch here in a hurry. the longest spell of possession for FC United in some time but it looks like they've given it away here although the ball is off the shin of the defender and into the stands and there's going to be a sub made now So one last sub. For the team in red as they look to continue clawing their way back in. And what can they have here as that ball's put through? A couple of men 
bursting forward into the box. But the defender does well, and I, yep, he's drawn a foul. They've responded well, White Eagles, but really I think they may feel, they may leave with a bit of a sour taste in their mouth as they really generated a lot of opportunities and a couple of really quality opportunities too. And they tested Botero certainly, but maybe not as much as they would have liked. Their energy hasn't dipped though. They've been able to build from the back really effectively. They've moved through the lines very, very easily. They, they've just seemed to bypass the midfield of FC United. It's almost as though their midfield hasn't been existent. And you see it right there. One swing of the foot and they're almost right through. That man trying to step over again, but the defender was wise to it this time. And oh, that's a very nice tackle from this left back. And that one took a deflection. And they'll have to recover as the midfield has it to the far side. The ball is received, a one-on-one -on -one opportunity as he cuts inside, tries to put it through, it falls well for FC United with the left foot. It's into the goal and the flag stays down. It's against the run of play, but that will do it. FC United finish it off. As we look here, he was just allowed to dribble. No pressure put on by the defense, and it was a very nice finish into the top corner. And that should about do it for this match. The team in red, they I think the story is they should have taken advantage of their opportunities earlier in this second half, but they played well. As that ball's into the box. Nope, never made it into the box. It's out of play. So FC United will be very happy with this start to the season. Just uh, obviously some things to tinker with, some things to tweak on the back end, maybe in their midfield, but They've uh, been clinical finishers for sure. And a scrappy performance. Really no thrills. Nothing, uh, no frills we should say. Nothing spectacular. Just some good ball movement and they could have another one here. They take it around the goalkeeper. The defender misses it. It's off the post, but they're going to pot the rebound. And it's going to be five for FC United. The defense was very spread out, hit off the base of the post, second post they've hit today, but this time they put it back into the net where it belongs, and it's 5-1, score no longer indicative of the match, but again, they've, uh, they've taken their opportunities, that seemed to come out of nowhere, so they'll be happy with their finishing, FC United. But there's some there's some holes in their system that can be take advantage, taken advantage of. But they're aware of them now, and they'll be able to fix them either with personnel or with tactics. Long ball out of bounds. We see another team getting ready over there on the far side. I think that may be uh, Club Soccer Montreal 67. Another team in this Premiership de Montréal, a team that may be up against it a bit this season. A new group being put together. This one touched back to the keeper who hammers it down the field. A nice bit of combination in the midfield. Oh, some very nice combination, but that one ends off briefly. And that's one thing about White Eagles there. 1v1 defending has been very, very nice. Oh, and there we see uh, Les Elephants who are 
warming up in their very striking orange and green kits that closely resemble those of the Cote d'Ivoire national team who they are named after that will be interesting when White Eagles face uh, Les Elephants I wonder if Cote d'Ivoire and Poland if their men's or women's national teams have ever faced off with one another it would have to be at a World Cup you'd think as here's another one in there and the midfielder does well trekking back I suppose it could have been a friendly uh, we'll have to search that up for uh, when those two teams collide and hopefully that game is broadcast as it would be an interesting one homes of two uh, two well all world strikers really Didier Drogba of Cote d'Ivoire now retired now a team owner actually team in Phoenix Arizona and of course Robert Lewandowski the premier striker in the world right now you'd have to say and he has been for the last couple of years big source of pride for white eagles and poles around the world as they're dancing in here and the goalkeeper makes the stop ball up the side uh, defenders there to get in the way of that one Time ticking down here on the match, maybe three or four minutes left. Probably not even, as this result was decided. Well, it was really only decided in the last 10 minutes or so for sure, as White Eagles were providing some pushback, but then two goals in quick succession from FC United did over. And the fourth official, Azmi Kaya, gives the ball back. As Mikaya, I think, will be taking charge of the next match featuring Les Elephants and uh, the other team there in white. This one sprung through and it's touched back to the goalkeeper and both teams right now sort of looking at the clock, probably wanting this one to end and regroup for their next match. Here's another, oh, a three on three developing. Maybe a four on three. Let's see what they can do with it as they're forced outside and the defense did well to hold them up for reinforcements. But now one last cross maybe for White Eagles. And it was right over top of the goal and out of play. touch inside but then the defender did enough to disrupt that attack the official looked to his watch good interception by the defense this one prayed forward nice touch and you can see really both teams have had enough as they're almost at a walking pace now here's someone springing forward Trying to cut inside, a chance for a shot maybe. Up oh, there it is, and it's going to bounce into the goal. A consolation goal for White Eagles. And well, well deserved really, uh, as they kept that energy up and FC United, I think just happy to concede. But that, I think, more or less the last action of the match. And indeed it was. So, a good match for FC United. They'll be happy with themselves. White Eagles, they've got some work to do. But there are some bright spots for them. Bright spots for either teams as they move forward in this Premiership de Montréal season. Thank you for joining us. My name is Graham Naismith. We'll see you next time. Why?